Hi guys, how's it going? So here we have a brand new video on Risk Calculator. So we've had a lot of messages requesting a brand new platform for Risk Calculator to uh, support and be messages about supporting C Trader. A lot of people are moving from MetaTrader to C Trader, but um, they, they want Risk Calculator in there. So we've been working for months and months on creating Risk Calculator for C Trader. And here we are, it's out for release now. And I just wanted to show you a nice walkthrough of the video of all the features we have. This is the same trade manager as the one we have for uh, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, but this time on C Trader. So it's the same risk calculator that you've always loved, but on, Met, Met, uh, on uh, C Trader now. So yeah, let's dive in. So this is the risk calculator and I'll show you from left to right all the features we have. So um, so here is where we can minimize the actual risk calculator. So if you're on a trade and you want more room on your chart, you can minimize it. Here is where we enter the risk percentage. Uh, at the moment I have one in there. So every trade will be risk 1%. So you can change this to whatever you like. You can even do decimals to so 0.5 or whatever you like. I'll leave it at one for now. And then if you click risk, it will go to cash. So you can type in all your cash. Like say if you wanted to risk only a hundred of your account and it will do that for you. And then if you click again, it will show you how much it is in risk. So we'll leave that at 1% for now. Here's the profit, the risk to reward, uh, your lot size, your stop loss, uh, your take profit and your take profit zones as well. So this was a highly requested feature. Um, from our customers uh, quite a while ago. So it's only right we bought this into C Trader. So this allows you to have multiple take profit zones up to three. So if you have a calculation and you want three take profit zones, simply click three, two or one. And then here we have our action buttons. So we have uh, our buys, our sells, our pending orders, and here is to enter them. And we use this button to bring up our trade manager where we can manage all of our trades close certain positions, uh, for example, 10, 20, 50, 90%. We can type in a custom, something like t uh, 15%. Uh, we can close all your trades, um, auto break even, normal break even. Then we have things like partial take profit, training stop loss, and um, a few other features which I'll walk through. So I'll close that for now and we'll start off with a simple buy. So I have 1% typed in here and say if I just want to do a buy, it will tell me where I can move my stop loss to where I would like it and it will always be locked in at that 1% figure. And I'll move my, my take profit, say if I want it around here, it will tell me how much profit I'd gain and it will tell me also in the actual toolbar. And here it will show me how many lots I'll be trading if I want to enter the trade. So that all looks good to me and we can simply enter. And we've entered the market now. So this was so easy to do, a lot easier than using them online, uh, risk calculating uh, calculations on websites and then typing it in and things like that. We just made it so simple for our users to use. So this will benefit scalpers, swing traders, anything. Um, it's very easy to use and we have loads of settings to um, so everyone's needs. So that was a buy. So let's close that and I'll show you a sell. So it's the set exact same thing for a sell. So we go here and um, we change where we want our stop loss. So this time let's do a um, risk to reward of one. So for whatever we risk, we gain the exact same amount. So you can see now it's locked in. So we want here around here I'd say so we risk this much and we'll gain that much the exact same and we can hit enter and we've entered now and you can see that's all logged in and very quick to do no working out of your risk to reward or your actual risk um, for lot sizes now I want to show you the cash risk feature so say if we take we'll turn the risk to reward off simply by putting zero in there and say if we only want to risk um, 100 of our account we can do that and we'll always risk around 100 of our account 
and we'll go up there and you can see that's that's in at 100 here you can see that's risk 100 um, yeah so that's how easy it is and the same thing for a sell so let's go on to pending now so let's stick to uh, let's go to for two percent this time so to do a pending all you do is press this orange button so you click it once for a buy pending option uh, click it again and it will turn into a sell so let's do a sell for now and then you click it once and then you move it and then you click it again to set your parameters wherever you like let's bring it down a little bit more so it's here and we want that there and we can just enter and you can see here under orders it's populated so let's try another one now uh, let's do a buy this time so we'll do a buy and we can drag it up here and we can change our risk anytime we like so let's change this to say 500 so here we can see it's automatically changed to 500 the lot size has changed and our take profit is has changed accordingly as well and we want that so you'll see the you'll see it populate here enter and you can see that's populated so yeah that's um that's the pending orders so that these are the main features that you would use risk calculator for everybody would use them features so let's put a few um, live orders in right now and I can show you the trade manager. So let's put this buy in. So you can see that populated straight away. Um, let me do a few more. Actually, let me show you the multiple take profit zones while we're here. Um, so say if we want to do three take profit zones and we want to risk, uh, say 3% this time. And yep, so we want to do three take profits for three, percent so simply drag, uh, drag and drop where you want your take profit zones so say if I want that there and I want to move my take third take profit up there and I want to actually move my risk a bit more down so usually I'll bring my first take profit a bit lower and then my second one here and third one there but you can do it how you like um, and then I'll enter so you can see that's populated the three uh, the three new orders and um, here is where we can manage our orders so what we can do is close these orders off by um, percentages so say if you I wanted to close at uh, 50% so half of these orders will all close now once I press 50% and you can see that all happened with a click of a button it's so fast and so easy to do it's it's um it will save you so much more time when trading um and then it will be the same for custom clothes to so say if we want something obscure like 12 percent uh, all we do is type in 12 there and close and it will close that much for the selected trades um what we'll do is now i'll close a few more so so we do 100 percent here and then we'll click close and we'll close them orders um, so from here what we do is so just move that here um, so we have this one order open and what we can do is do a partial take profit so what I'll do is move that actual take profit line up you can do that within um, C Trader and you can see that we've got this one order here so we want to make a partial take profit um, so this line appears and we can drag that to wherever we want for partial take profit and it will show you how much it will close out so once that's done um, and the price will move up to well, when the price hits this line it will automatically close out your partial take profit and you can set how much you want as your partial take profit in the settings here um, so that's that and then we can turn that off whenever we want we also have a trailing stop loss function all you have to do is click the pair you want and you can see the the stop loss just moved there and every time price moves up the the stop loss will follow it and you can change your settings in here as well for trailing stop loss uh, here 
So we have all the settings for everything you need in here. Um, so that was the main features of the the trade manager. So let me just close all these trades out. Um, we also have a auto break even and a normal break. So actually, let me show you that one more time. So we can move it around here. So enter. And then once our price, there's not much price action today, as you can see. But all you have to do is um, click auto break even. Oops, sorry, select that. Uh, do auto break even. But we're currently in the um, entry line. So once that moves up, we'll have, we can sort out our auto break even then and normal break even. So once the market has moved, um, we can click that and break even will be hit. And um, the next thing I wanted to show you is some other cool, cool things we have. So we'll just pause the risk calculator here. And we have a cool pip counter as well. So here we can enable it. And then you can see it on the left and then we can move it to the bottom right where left wherever we want it. Um, another cool feature is that we can actually change. Let me get rid of the pip counter so we can see it a bit better. I'm using it on the small screen right now. So if you have a bigger screen, you'll have more real estate and we can always close that out. So we can um, have a bit more room on our charts, which is great. So what we can do here is change our settings for things like our partial take profits, our, sorry, our uh, take profit, our multiple take profits, um, how much percentage for our partial take profits, um, our break even, where we want that, say if we want to factor in things like spread for our break evens or our, our commissions, we can do that. Um, we, can, we have the option to follow life price, so when this moves, you can see that it follows the life price. I don't know if you just saw that, yeah, see it nudging down now. So we'll follow the life price. Um, what else we can do, I'll turn the pip calculator off for now. We have things like hotkeys where we can enter our trades. So say if we do shift E, that will do that and manage trades. Um, we also have something that has been requested oddly quite a lot is the, the the transparency of this so some users don't want to see that much green or red so what we can do is change the transparency so say if we set it to 50 you'll see um, a lighter transparency so you could even set that to something like 10 if you only want to see a little bit of it um, or hardly see it at all which is pretty cool um, we have loads, so many features. Um, we even have, we even support uh, dark mode as well. So, uh, light mode, so the default is dark mode. So we have a light mode of it as well, if people prefer the light mode. Um, yeah, so that is a lot of the features. We have so many other variables, but you can change your colors, um, your parameters, your break evens, your take profits. Um, so we can calculate by either balance or your equity. Um, we can set your defaults in here. So say if you always want it at 5% when you start it, it will, it will start at 5%. So we, we have like a default setting in here now. Um, you can move the risk calculator by pressing the M. Um, yeah, there are all of our base settings. So, um, we're always adding new features to our risk calculator. If you have any suggested features, let us know. Um, this is on sale right now on our website. The link is in our in the description. So the cool thing is if you've already bought the MetaTrader 4 or 5 version, you'll have access to this. So when you buy risk calculator, you get it for all the versions. So you'll get the MetaTrader 4, the MetaTrader 5 version, and the Seed Trader version, um, all included in the one price. Uh, so we're always updating our features and we update them for everyone, all of our customers. If you have any other questions, please go on our website and uh, feel free to message us anything. If you have any queries, we'll respond to you as soon as we can. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy Risk Calculator and thank you for using it. Cheers.